It's that man back at your services, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. You know what I talk about. I talk about what I love. I love sports, everybody, okay? Okay? That's what I love. Okay, and what we're gonna discuss today is a little Dirk Nowitzki versus Dwayne Wade. Two legends, just now retiring, season over, never see them again on the NBA court. Grew up watching those guys, okay? But who would you rather have? Okay, let's chime into this first take ish one time. This is that man Dooley. Holla at your boy. Comment. I talk back. What's up? Catch me at the draft next week. NFL draft. I'm going to be there or be square. Okay, you know, video coming for y'all from that. But let's check out this footage though, baby. That man. Oh, once again, computer. Come on, computer. What the hell? You remember that We Believe team? You remember that? Oh, I, I see your face, your body language. They found a way to play Dirk. You got physical and you crowded him. Now, Dirk is a bad man, and I hate to have to do this because you're going to make it seem like I'm slandering a former teammate, a guy, a guy that I love. But when you talk about Dirk Nowitzki and Dwayne Wade, you're looking at a playmaker versus essentially a scorer. Dwayne Wade did any and everything on the court, whether it was scoring, getting assists, playing on the rim, running in transition, and not to mention, this is a self-made, hard-working guy who had instant success. There's not too many stars. There's not too many players in the league that once they got help. I don't usually agree with Ryan Hollins, but he's gassing right now. I'm not even going to lie. Because D. Wade was more of an all-around player. Now, if you needed a bucket, Dirk was the guy to go to. But Dwayne is the better player. Let's continue this first take-ish, man. It's that man. Oh. oh. They had someone join their team, a la Shaquille O'Neal. He went out and got a championship. So you have to credit Dwayne Wade for his body of work, his work ethic. And, 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 I mean, seriously, like, it's not close. I don't even know how you're going to do Where, this. I mean, can you yeah, suss right. through that, Will, and find any valid points? Like, I'm trying hard. There was nothing in there of use. work ethic, which is an odd one for the guy against Dirk. <laughs> work ethic. How about defense? With Dirk? How about defense? All That's right. the first one. You got one there. <laughs> defense. The rest of that was just nonsense. Like, it, Dirk is a is an exceptional player and a unique player. I think Dwayne is fantastic, but what Dirk does to a defense is you can't just talk about the championship because like you mentioned he has Shaq come down there. Mm -hmm. Dirk didn't have that and throwing out there Dirk is soft is nonsense. Dirk is the one who changed the perception of uh, European players as being soft. Dirk is not soft. You can't bully Dirk and he developed the inside game. Dirk is not soft but he don't play no defense and I, 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 play, I know that. Let me get in. Let me see if I what? can try. What? You said what? it's going to be a hard task What's but I think I might be up to it. <laughs> um, let me just lay this out first of all. Both these guys had, as you pointed out, Charlie, amazing careers. And I think they both also illustrated something that's increasingly rare in sports that I, for one, appreciate at some of the highest levels of fandom. And that is loyalty and dedication to a market. As much as a franchise, to a market, to a city of people. What Dwayne Wade means to Miami, and I know for a matter of fact what Dirk Nowitzki means to Dallas, is increasingly unique and special and heartfelt. Ah! This is what we got here, baby. Career comparison. 22 points per game each. Okay, no, Dirk with 20.7, Dwayne with 22. Excuse me. Dirk with more rebounds, which he better. He's a seven footer, for God's sake. Okay, assists of more assists per game. Of course, which he better, because he's a guard, for Dwayne's sake. So, three NBA titles to one, one finals MVP each. The resume is pretty much a, alike, you know? I guess it comes down to the championships, you know? But then you could say Dwayne wouldn't have got those rings if it weren't for LeBron or Shaq, and that's fair. But when you really want to compare these two players, I'm going to have to go with Wade for his all-around ability. Dirk was the better scorer because he was the more unguardable player. Dwayne was just an athlete. There's nothing you can do about a seven-footer with the jump shot, okay? Nothing, okay? Okay? Anyways, you heard it here first, man. I could talk this first take stuff all day, but I'm gonna let y'all know how I feel, okay? About it all. This that man Dooley, though, baby. Y'all know I gotta mess with y'all. Holla at your boy. Subscribe if you're new. Holla at me. Go on.